Series, Doris? Well, Here what we, we see is a tremendous opportunity for bench players to show what they have and to show that they can earn rotation minutes even when the team gets healthy. Coaching staff can be a little creative here as well. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. At the guard positions, Young and Herter. Gallinari is out there with Hunter, and it's Capella in at the center. And it's sent back by Carter. Hunter against Anthony. Pass to Bamba. Knocked away. Gallinari with the steal. Young against Anthony. And here is Hunter. His last outing, he had 18 points. Yeah, that's a good way to start the game. Nice inside bucket right there. We're about one minute into the first. Anthony against Young. Here's Bamba, and the dunk by Bamba. I'll tell you, the next step for Mo Bamba will be more muscle, but he finishes through contact right there. So it's Atlanta now. Their last encounter was in Atlanta. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. You know what? There was a lot of standing around in that basketball game. Failing to move bodies and failing to move the basketball is a bad formula. How about the big guy attacking the rim? The throwdowns are loud and emphatic. Now, here's Sun. He's covered closely. There's the call on Kevin Herter. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you gotta love that energy. Hawks on D. Carter outside. The dish to Suggs. Good on the triple. And not a bad passing center. Carter Jr. with the solid find there that leads to a bucket. Herter passes to going up. Kicks to Young. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Gallinari is surveying the D. Now Capella, looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Danilo Gallinari. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Anthony kicks to Suggs. And Capella sends it back. Opponents have to be careful when Capella is in the area. What an impressive display of timing. There's the pass to Gallinari. Capella with it. Back to Gallinari. Shot clock at five. To the middle. And the dunk by Capella. Well, Gallinari a scorer at heart, but how about the unselfishness perfectly sets up his open teammate. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Now the backstory of Clint Cavella is interesting as he was only the second player, Greg, from Switzerland to make it to the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, you know, you don't think of basketball right away when you think of Switzerland, but the game has grown so much in Europe over the years. Guys like Cavella, who might have gone into soccer at one point, are now gravitating towards hoops. Here's Young. Jalen Suggs making his last shot. Hunter, no one around him. Another three for Atlanta. Three. A very consistent three-point shooter. Hunter shoots it well from there because of how confident he is. The Magic trail by five. Now, here's Suggs. He has five. It's deflected. Anthony against Young. Over Anthony. Anthony with the block. 
Carter, the pass to Bamba. He kicks to Suggs. Pass to Wagner. Passes to Suggs. And again, it's the magic from deep. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Here's Young. He's a player that you can only hope to slow down as he averages nearly 28 points a game. Capella with a screen on him. Suggs with a steal. And Wagner has it in the corner. Pass to Suggs. Hits it from three-point range. Suggs has got 11 points. Not the biggest fan of that shot, but he had the space to get it off. So, so why not? And it's out of bounds for the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. Young dishes to Gallinari. Capella with a screen on Cook. Gallinari attacking. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. As a scorer in every sense of the word, you know Danilo is thinking, let me finish and get to the foul line. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Hawks. I mean, so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and What's getting up? some easy baskets. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. That free throw good from Gallinari. And, Craig, some players say they watch the standings. Others say they ignore them. Which side were you on? You know, at times I, I did a little of both, but I, I typically wanted to watch, especially when my team was relevant. There was a couple of years where I had no uh, no desire at all to see where our team was because I knew we were pretty close to the bottom. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. That is a combination of length and defensive instinct. Send it back, Mo Bamba. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gallinari. Anthony up on top, defended by Young. Anthony, the pass to Wagner. Driving to the basket, and it's blocked. Gallinari using his length right there. Nicely done. No! What about that dunk? Oh, that was oh. special. My goodness. Oh, here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. The pass to Wagner. Back to Anthony. Wagner with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Four on the shot. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Wagner's checked in for Bamba. Okiki comes in for Wendell Carter. Terrence Ross is checked in for Wagner. And Harris subbed in for Suggs. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Okongwu's checked in for Golinar. Bogdanovich comes in for DeAndre Hunter. Williams is checked in for Kevin Herter. And it's DeLon right in for Young. Lou Williams has an excellent feel for how to run the pick and roll. What a look off of that action. Anthony against Wright. But Trey gets it to go from beyond the arc. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Outside Bogdanovich. Okongwu with the screen for Bogdanovich. And Okongwu slams it in. Oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. The Magic trail by three. Anthony, the pass to Okiki. Back to Anthony. 
And so Orlando again turning it over. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Had a chance to catch up with the Magic head coach. There's no question this team can shoot the ball. That's the philosophy he's instilled here. The long range shooters they've got, he wants them to move the ball from one side of the floor to the other. And then take that first open look that's available. Kevin? Thanks, David. Always want to get those threes falling consistently. Here's Okiki following the score by Lou Williams. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Well, one of us here knows Cole Anthony quite well. <laughs> the guy to my side here, Greg, is a dad. Care to share with us a story about your son playing hoops growing up? Well, I, I tell you one thing. He's always had that belief, that inner belief in his, himself and his abilities. And that's something that started early on in his life. And honestly, that's when I knew he had a chance to be a really good player. The Hawks leading. Here's Williams. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. Anthony against Wright. And here is Anthony. He's got six. Now Ross over Bogdanovich. Again, the magic score. When the mid-range is working for Terrence Ross, he's going to create problems. It's just a matter of can he do it consistently. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And the Hawks lead by two. Pass to Okiki. 